What's up guys, Casper here, and today I'm doing a tutorial on all of the uh, different NURBs inside of Cinema 4D. So I'm just going to grab them all, so we got a Hyper NURB, a Lathe NURB, Sweep NURB, Bezier NURB, if you pronounce it like that, Loft NURB, and Extrude NURB. Alright, so I'm going to hide everything but the Extrude NURBs for this one. And, yeah, so Extrude NURBs, pretty self-explanatory. If you have text in spline format, if you just change it like that or whatever, you can drag your text inside of the extrude nerves, then extrude it out. Change that to zero. There we go. It's a, the first uh, the first box changes it, so it must be Z Y X for the axis, axes. Alright, this also works for not just text, it can work for splines such as a rectangle and then same thing, just extrude out. It's actually different on every single thing you do because the X, Y, and Z gets messed up. So yeah, that's it. it actually could be because I rotated the text but yeah that's no big deal. Alright, so got done with that. Now we're on loft nerbs. Now loft nerbs is uh, pretty helpful when modeling things. Um, say you want something that... Hmm, um, let's get an n-gon and another n-gon. Okay, or actually let's get one n-gon and a rectangle. Okay, so I move them apart, highlight them, drag them in the loft nerves, and as you can see, it goes from n gone, and then it transforms to the square, or the rectangle. So you can move them, it stretches them out, and yeah, so say you want another one of the same shape, just get another n gone, drag it in, there you go. So you now have a six-sided three-dimensional object. So a hexagonal prism, I think. Don't quote me on that. All right, now the Bezier, Bezier nerves. Um, this is a lot like modeling in a certain way. Um, I'll show you the differences. First, you get the subdivisions, which is self-explanatory how many subdivisions there are and uh, you get the grid points so I'm going to up those a little bit and uh, now you can see you hit this button right there and get your selection tool you highlight one or two remember shift keeps them without uh, losing the other it doesn't just form the points out it forms everything close to around it so I'll give you an example right now of a uh, plane being extruded. Let's rotate it and make it editable. Selection tool. So, actually, let me just select one. And then if you extrude it, it's rough and only one point goes out instead of the entire area, like so. Okay. So now we are on sweep nerves. Now sweep nerves is very helpful when making things such as wires and doing anything with splines. So I'm going to go to all my views and then I'm going to get a Bezier Bezier spline. Now I'm just going to make it have some nice uh, curves in it. And I'm just going to like make a wire. Alright, so now that I got that Rotate it so you guys can see it better, but make sure you're on the whole shape. Okay, so now you need to get another spline, and uh, it can be any single one. So I'm going to get a circle, and then I'm going to show you also with a cogwheel. So I'm going to hide the cogwheel for now. Lower the circle radius. Move it over. And now you drag both the circle or the spline and whatever you want inside and inside of the sweep nerves and as you can see it pretty much 
what the top object show is pretty much the it outlines the bottom object and pretty much it's like a ton of the circle spines lined up together like one after another going along the spline um yeah, it's pretty kind of hard to explain but I'm pretty sure it's easier visually so say I got rid of that drag the cog wheel in and oh gotta make sure it's shown and yeah kinda goes crazy so I'm going to lower it a little bit or a lot of bit so now you can see you have the cogwheel outline of the spline so it has nice uh, little holes in there so that's a fun one to use and very helpful as well um, lathe nerbs that is good for modeling so let's say alright on my top view actually let's do yeah top view alright so Get my grid on just so I know that I'm actually zooming in. Zooming in. Um, I'm gonna get a spline. I'm gonna get, say, a bezier spline or whatever. So I'm gonna start from the middle. And go to the top. And then just change up some points, make them a little bit better. So now you have what looks like half an object. Now if you drag that inside of the lathe nerves. Um, it will come out very weird depending on the uh, angle in which you did it. So, or the since from the view which you did it. So, I'm gonna change that. I'm actually going to redo the spline and do it inside of the front view. So, do there, there, there. All right. Let's change this one up. Okay, now if I drag that in the lathe nerves, you'll see that it made my shape. And it actually looks similar to a bullet. I have a tutorial on bullets, so if you want to look at that, go check that out. Um, yeah, so it's helpful for like modeling things such as that have a line of symmetry inside of them. So you pretty much just have to do half the work. And uh, yeah, it also depends on which view you go into when you do it because you saw in the top view if I did the spline and then dragged it in um, the way it's laid out it would just get messed up so the front view what I think would be better and then you can just from there rotate your object yeah and remember shift holding shift down keeps it at increments of five which is helpful okay and the last one which is hypernerbs, which is pretty self-explanatory. If you've ever used a program, Cinema 4D, I'm pretty sure you should know this. Um, hypernerbs makes everything smooth. And uh, yeah, the cube just became a ball. And you can also edit this. Edit that, edit that. So it looks different, change the type, and all that stuff. Um, yeah, it's actually scale up the cube uh, let's try something else actually gives a bad example alright this should work a cylinder dragged it in and what is that not deselecting oh I know why okay so it's like it just smooths out the sides. It doesn't really work all the time, but for the most part, it would. Um, let me see if I can just show you one thing that it actually works with and doesn't completely mess up. Yeah, so you just got to also change the segments, as you can see. So I changed the segments in the pyramid from 1 to like 12, and you can see now the pyramid is smoothed out. So, same thing applies with the cube. That was my bad, I just didn't uh, add the segments. So, just say something like that. Actually, let's just do 20, 20, 20. 
now you have a cube with rounded edges. So that's pretty much it guys, that's all the NURBS that uh, are in Cinema 4D. Um, and remember, if you need any help with this, let me know. Uh, if you want future tutorials, just let me know. I have Railflow, After Effects, uh, Photoshop, Illustrator, and uh, yeah, so remember guys, comment, rate, subscribe, a like would be nice. And yeah, thanks for watching.